Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. And we give all glory and honor and praise uh, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, this Minister Paul, and it's June 25th, 2013. Um, I'm out here in Northern California, and it has been raining for two days. Uh, I've been born and raised here. This is on my heart to make a video today. Um, I've been born and raised here uh, in this area. Um, and I want to look at the weather. Uh, so, you know, you're not just taking my word for it. I like to show visuals. It's going to be a show pretty stormy visuals. week across the northern part of the United States. See if I can silence through. this. Here's the situation. Um, there's certain parts of our area on June 24th, 2013, that received over an inch and a half of rain. Uh, where I live, it not only broke the record for the coolest day ever in history, it also broke the record uh, for the most rain on June 24th of any year in history. Um, the previous record for June 24th, which was yesterday, uh, on Monday, for any year in history since they began to measure rain was zero point zero so in essence we went from zero point zero to a half an inch up to an inch and a half or more uh, depending on what area you lived in there's a prophecy I have out matter of fact I link directly to it that I just want to point you to you click right here I believe that several minutes of this see how it takes you right to that this was from December 18th 2012 um, it talks about there being nothing natural about our weather and nothing normal about our weather and it has remained true all of this prophecy has remained true to date now the reason why I bring this up is because I just read something, uh, a scripture last night, and then I just read a story this morning that I found on Twitter. Everybody see this? This just came in 15 minutes ago. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, sound the alarm and, and tell my people. And so I prayed and now I'm making a video in obedience we I, I can't stress it enough that we must be obedient first of all we must have discernment on whether we're truly hearing from the Lord or not because many voices are going out into the world right now and when we do through discernment that he gives you as a free gift when we do hear from him because we he, he's given us very specific uh, and we'll get to that Luke 21 and Matthew 24 very specific things that we are to watch for uh, and that when we see all those things the key word uh, begin to happen not after they finish happening when the things that he mentions are Christ the anointed Messiah Yeshua when we see the things that he mentions begin to happen that we're to look up because our redemption draweth not or in other words it, it gets very near and so I'm seeing all those things, and I'm looking up, and and, and all of the, the the ones that have been bought uh, with and accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior, they're looking up. I see this trend for the last two years now on on social media, and even you know in your own home with your own family, and certainly at work and at school if you bring it up, that you get bashed. There's, there's the, the, the devil does not like the fact that people will come on here and make a video saying, you know what Christ said is true. And it's coming to pass and we're running out of time. They call that like, oh, you're a doomsday or you're spreading fear or, or you're, you know, well, you've heard it all, I'm sure. And, and as have I, I've heard it all. There, there's, a, there's a trend I've noticed in the year 
it, it began actually in 2011, but it, it's it's ramped up in 2013 to almost personal attacks. Well, it is personal attacks. That um, matter of fact, I just read this on a pastor's uh, YouTube channel uh, a few days ago, mentioning me. He said, no prophecy has ever came true and it never will. This is from a pastor. Now, there's certain people I'm just not going to watch anymore. Anybody that says no prophecy will ever come true anymore, I, I, I don't. time is too short to be wasting time listening to your videos if that's how you believe. And if that's what you're teaching, it's false. If you're off adding or uh, like Sister... Uh, Denise said, she said she had a strong word from the Lord and said, this is my last video and said goodbye. I haven't checked her channel since then. She said that people were adding to or taking away and teaching false doctrines. Like, for example, the book of Enoch. Let's address that once and for all. I'll make a 20-minute video. I was going to make a five-minute one. Um, I, I have attempted to read the book of Enoch three times in the last five years. And every time I begin to read it, the Holy Spirit quickens me and says no. So apparently the Holy Spirit does not have me uh, reading the book of Enoch. And I've also found several contradictions in the book of Enoch to the Holy Word in the King James Bible. I'm telling you the truth. They are there if you will read it with discernment. And when I see pastors uh, encouraging others to read this book that contradicts God's Holy Word, um, I won't watch you. So I, 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 the reason why I'm bringing this up is I've been getting on Facebook and on YouTube. I've been getting, it's always private. Um, you know, why aren't you doing this? Or why aren't you doing this? Or why aren't you talking to me anymore? It's not that I don't like you. I'm, 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 I'm protecting my salvation. I'm protecting uh, my eyes and ears. They call it your ear gates and your eye gates. Christ, you know, I'm protecting uh uh, my walk with the Lord by not associating with false teaching. And if that's what you're going to do, here's another example. If you're going to talk about the book of Enoch all the time, and the Holy Spirit has told me not to read it, and that's all you're talking about, I'm not going to follow you. And if you're encouraging others to, to, to read it, I, I, I'm going to uh, caution you as a man of God. And this may make me unpopular. I've always said from the very beginning, I am not here to be popular. I'm here to tell what the Holy Spirit tells me to say. And he has spoken to me today to speak out against those who are teaching from the book of Enoch. And also, all of a sudden, there's this new springing up of witnesses. A lot of people are wondering why I, I quit following them on Facebook, for example. Because I saw you openly worship and praise a human being and give them praise almost like in a worshiping fashion a human being because they declared to be one of the two witnesses such as Sarah it doesn't as somebody who studied the Bible for 34 years it does not line up with the Word of God for that person any person to make that announcement in the time we're in right now Biblically, we have to stick to the word. No, you are not one of the two witnesses. So if the Holy Spirit didn't tell you, it was an ungodly, familiar religious spirit that told you, and we have to lift you up in prayer. But no one should be encouraging you, hear me now, be encouraging you and thumbing up in you and liking you when you are speaking out of a spirit of evil divination. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus and you will not come anywhere near me because I'm covered in the blood of Jesus and he has told me not to listen to you ever since you've made that announcement. He has told me to pray for you from a distance. And if people wonder why I'm not hanging out with them anymore, well it's because I have told you how I feel on the situation and you continue to encourage this person when you should really be, if you love them, you would tell them, look, you're not one of the two witnesses. I've, uh, I've been where you've been. There are spirits that can try to uh, uh, seduce you and you, you really need prayer because it doesn't line up with the word of God. Is that too honest? That, that wasn't even part of this video. So if you wonder why all of a sudden we're not chitty chatting, it's because I fear God more than any person. And I don't believe that the two witnesses have been announced yet uh, by the Holy Spirit to me. 
And so if anybody claiming to them, and I'm not singling anybody out because there's several of them. There's like 20 witnesses. And I've said this before, the math don't add up. There can only be two. And I have a feeling who they are, but this is, this is not the time for that. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I'm not going <clears throat> to, I need the right word, Holy Spirit. I'm not going to condone you praising, giving honor, and, uh, and encouraging somebody who has said they're one of the two witnesses. I will not be a part of that. When I stand before Christ, I want to be able to say, yeah, I saw that. I tested the spirit. It didn't line up with me, and I departed from it, Lord. And when people came, and then you'll stand before him alone by yourself. And I'm not going to be a part of people reading the book of Enoch and doing studies out of it. Not, I'm not because of one reason and one reason alone that I'm under holy. Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadesh. This is a very serious matter not to read that book. So if you want to read it and you want to encourage somebody who you think is one of the two witnesses, uh, I will not be fellowshipping with you. I'm, I, and I'm not here to, obviously, if you look at my view counts and you look at my subscriber counts, they're going down, not up. And I'm fine with that as long as what I say is is uh, under conviction and what I, I say what I've heard from the Lord when he says to say it and I'm, I say it in honesty it comes down to honesty I, I if, if you like this channel I believe it's because I I stay honest whether whether I lose subscribers or or people attack me or whatever I always stay honest because it, it doesn't really matter to me uh, about building uh, men and women up to give them praise. I, I want to please God and not men because you know who I got to stand before at the end of all things that's coming very soon. I stand before Christ, not you. None of you. I don't stand before you. I love you and I pray for you, but I stand before Christ and that's the truth. And there, and this is the, the, this, this wickedness and evil has now, uh, I believe even Kia she made a video that the Lord had revealed to her that I'm under demonic attack. Well, do you think I'm under demonic attack of witchcraft while studying uh, witchcraft? Let me show you something. All of these teachings right here from the uh, Jonas Clark are about witchcraft in the church. Can everybody see that? Hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm not just pulling things out of a hat or anything. I'm studying it from a known a good, solid, biblical teacher of witchcraft in the church. Can you see that? At one hour, two hour, three hour, four hours. I believe 12 hours total just on uh, witchcraft and religious spirits in the church. And and so I'm, 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 I have a solid, what I'm saying is I, I'm not boasting or bragging. I'm telling you as you listen to me, I have a solid foundation on religious spirits. Matter of fact, I have a whole section of it because I've dealt with them on my website. And so the reason why I'm saying this, notice how there's 600,000 views missing. Um, I have dealt with the spirit of Python. I have dealt with the Jezebel network in my own life. And after, uh, after be dealing with it, and actually was delivered from the spirit of Python. Uh, I now, my lifelong uh, goal is to expose it. I just, just want to mention that. Whether I'm popular or not. And uh, so I ask for your prayers in that regard. So now back to, back to this word from the Lord. Uh, that just popped up and I had to put it out. Back to this word from the Lord. Today's date, it says a rare June atmospheric river heading for the west coast. Notice the key word here is rare. And, and light rain, showers, and then if we went forward, because I have extreme, extreme, what's the word I'm looking for again? I have, I have extreme concern for the month of July 
in regards to big biblical prophecy. So if we look at the five day, we are going to go into 105. Now, if you with wind, now if you, if you think this is normal, that three days from now, we're going to go from this rain and wind and the coldest, uh, the coldest day ever registered and the most rain ever registered to 105 on Friday with zero chance of rain. If you think that's normal, then um, I, I don't know what to tell you. It, 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 it's certainly not normal. And so when we get to this tsunami that the Holy Spirit had just... I want to know. I, I could Google Earth and show you the area and show you that, that several... I know of at least five people that are obedient watchmen. In other words, God has called them to warn the people according to the book of Ezekiel. 33 uh, specifically is the one I usually read. Uh, you see a sword coming and you warn the people. There's at least five people that I know of uh, and I'm not going to do names. I, I just had a name pop into my head. And I'm going to have to rewatch her video. Because we, we seem our our dreams and our visions and our words of knowledge seems to run in parallel. We get them at the same time. We've prophesied that, that, that a, a, a cataclysmic event, most people have said tsunami. Um, in my latest uh, video, I said tsunami uh, will hit the East Coast. Let me find that video real quick. Uh, and... I believe it is this one. Fire and flood, we see that happening all over the place right now. Power loss, and if you watch this video, it's called a clarion call and a cataclysmic event. I mentioned a tsunami also so it turns out on June 13th in closing today's June 25th this is actually uh, there was a tsunami on the East Coast and again it was a rare phenomenon just like the thing I just showed you here locally we have coming against the West Coast East Coast and West Coast and there will be more there's a rare phenomenon where there, and I'm going to put a link to this, it says it may have, let me tell you, it did hit, and, and they didn't report it. Two weeks later, I think they're being forced to report it, and I'm going to touch on why that is too. Because there's a lot of things, I mean, I could make a video every hour of things that are not being reported, that I see occurring in the world, and Christ spoke on that. From, quote, from North Carolina up to Massachusetts, we can find that signal, even though it's very small, which tells us there was, quote, something going on. And it says, we're trying to piece this back together. Now, if you believe that, that they don't know whether it was a tsunami or not, when, when there's a warning center posted a statement calling it a tsunami on the East Coast, and it gives specifics, 330 there's that 33 on June 13th and Noah um, gives the area this this goes into what Christ has said and I just wanted to put this out there for those people that saying that prophecy is not coming true this this is what Christ had said when the disciples asked him what was going to be the sign of the end the disciples asked him when shall these things be number one so when and what sign will there be and the very first thing that he says is well it's going to be in the year 2013 during the supermoon when the, the the weather is out of control and earthquakes are everywhere that's not the first thing he says the first thing is he says is to, to take heed that you be not deceived. And you know what I see happening on YouTube, on the mainstream media, 
on Facebook. I know this is a tough word, but it needs to be said today. Too much deception, not enough discernment. Now, if you are hidden in Christ and His Spirit dwells within you and you have wisdom and knowledge and the Bible says in all you're getting, get understanding. If you are truly reaching out to seek these things of God and not of the world, you will not be caught up in this deception. But if you just decide to be tossed to and fro following every wind of doctrine by anybody that says, I heard from the Lord or I'm a witness, or I read in the book of Enoch, then you will fall into this deception. And you won't be able to blame God when you stand in front of our Messiah that day. You will not be able to blame God. You will have condemned yourself by not obeying the very words of the anointed Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Now I put forth an extreme warning today that you need to take heed of listening to the Ruach HaKodesh and seek Him on your face if you must because deception is abounding. I'm sitting in the rain and clouds as we approach July. Having been born and raised here almost 50 years old now, I'm here to tell you that this is not normal. Israel's having rockets fired on. Earthquakes are hitting that are going unreported and now tsunamis also. There's a heat wave in Alaska while we're colder than it's ever been in California. Saints, this is coming to pass and anybody saying it isn't, run from. Because you don't stand before them or report to them. Jesus doesn't care if you're buddy-buddy with that pastor who's given a false teaching or not. As a matter of fact, I think he would expect you to correct them with this word that he spoke into existence with the mighty breath of God. I was just going to make a five-minute video, but I'm letting the Holy Spirit take over. So it says, nation will rise against nation. Is this happening? Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. Yes. Do you need some examples? Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq, Afghanistan, America, um, Israel. Do I need to proceed? And great earthquakes. Now the key to these is the intensity, the labor pains, the birth pains. It's happening daily. I haven't even checked today because I know what's going to happen already. It's What's going to happen is what you're reading right now. God's word. Not somebody's made up word. The holy word of God is the only thing that cannot return void. Famines. Seen any areas under famine? I just saw a news report yesterday that beef is up 6%. Pestilence, again, for the, like the fifth time this year, I'm saying that's a worldwide outbreak of fatal diseases or diseases that lead to death. Fearful sights and great signs and people always get on me and they attack me because I talk about signs. But God's holy word says there will be great signs from heaven. But before all these things, and then it talks about people being taken into prison and stuff, and this almost happened to me, and I'm not going to address that issue because it's just not a good memory for me. And So you need to settle it in your hearts. And he says, I will give you a mouth and wisdom. He's going to tell you what to say and the wisdom to say it. And your, your enemies won't be able to resist what you say because it will come from the Holy Spirit itself. We're living in those days, saints. And then it talks about betrayal, and this is certainly happening. And us being hated, this is happening. Now, let, let, let's get down to this important part here. There will be signs in the sun and moon. They called it a super moon, and they said it ha it's regular and normal. Um... Yesterday on Fox 40 News, I almost recorded it, they, they talked about how, well, every 30 years, this kind of weather happens. You know, this is a normal thing. And I, 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 the discernment and the wisdom that God speaks about here in His Word kicked in, and it, the God spoke to me while I was watching the 10 p.m. news on Fox 40. And he said, if it happens every 30 years and it's normal, then why isn't there any rain recorded throughout history on this day? It's not normal. You're being lied to. And I turned it off. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? If every 30 years it's normal for this weather to happen that I'm seeing right now, it is so dark that you can't see anything in the sky. The w trees are whipping in my backyard and everything is drenched and it's, and it's raining for the second day. If that's normal and happens every 30 years, then why isn't there any rain recorded for that day in throughout all of history? I'm here to submit to you because it's not normal and that the media is deceiving you and many people are falling right into it and I want to speak the truth because only the truth will set you free. Can I just have a minute of your time more? And I'll be out of your hair. And, and in the moon, the super moons and all these moons, all of a sudden it seems like there's something like almost every day. And in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations. Do you need me to name some nations again right now that are in distress, or are you starting to figure it out? With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Now, I, want to I just want to let you know what's going on, and that we're being lied to, that on June 13th, the tsunami hit the East Coast, and it was reported on June 25th. If there was one building up and heading towards it right now, do you think they'd let you know? Do you trust them or do you trust God? Because Christ said they will deceive you. And if you're watching this channel, I'm going to speak out against deception every chance I get. So, they, so when I stand before Christ, he said, did you warn them? I'm going to say yes. The media is lying to them about everything everything I, I, I want to uh, I want to close in this in 27 with a word of encouragement for those who have an active prayer life and have made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior he died so that you can live eternally and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory that could happen any day everything has been fulfilled that needs to be fulfilled for him to show up and, and uh, that's the truth and when these things begin to come to pass, now here's the thing. Look at this. All of these things I just read to you, and I'll put a link to this also. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the fire of God. I know somebody's praying for me right now, and I want you to know that somebody's praying for you too. I can actually feel prayers in the air. That's how close we are, saints. Notice what Christ said. He's answering their question on what is the sign uh, of the end. This is serious business. I don't normally even uh, quote out of Luke 21, but the Lord has led me to it. We're going to see Christ return in the clouds of great glory. And so when we see these things, begin. Underline that in your Bible. Get a Bible. Don't just watch videos. Go get a Bible and, and let it minister to you. God loves you. When you see them begin to come to pass. Let me submit this question to everybody on YouTube. Has everything from Luke 1 to 28 begin to come to pass? I submit to you that yes, it, it began long ago. <laughs> well then, we are to look up and lift up your heads and don't let the devil get your head down. I rebuke you demons in the name of Jesus. Fear and doubt and confusion and witchcraft, I rebuke you through the power and the holiness of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who was and is and is to come. He defeated you and you must flee and take your hands off of the the people that are watching this video. And let the truth shine forth. For your redemption draweth nigh. And then he talks about Israel becoming a nation in 1948. And that all this, uh, this generation shall not pass away. Till all be fulfilled. All what? Well he's answering their question. Rightly divide the word of God. Compare this to Mark 13. Compare this to Matthew 24. Compare it to the book of the Revelation. And uh, get your head in the word of God. Because what man is telling you is lies. And uh, I just want to thank you for your time. And I want to say God bless you and keep you. And uh, cause his face to shine on you. And give you peace today. Peace that surpasses all understanding. 
not peace like the world gives, but peace from the Prince of Peace, peace from the King of Kings, peace from the Lord of Lords. I want uh, I wanted to take time out of my day today to let you know that Christ died for you and he's coming back for you and the devil is the the author of confusion and lies and it's spreading rampant and will intensify and you need to get into the word of God and listen to somebody that's preaching the truth not half truths I'm not saying me just let the Holy Spirit guide you to wherever you hear the truth because people are saying oh we don't need no preaching or teaching anymore we just got to stand and wait for the Lord as you stand and wait for the Lord you got to understand that the the devil's going around like a roaring lion seeking who he may destroy or devour came to kill steal and destroy he's out there and he's watching and that's why you got to just stay rooted and grounded in this word right here God bless you and you know what I love you all hope I've said something because I know a lot of the stuff I said just came upon me suddenly. That wasn't a part of this message that the Holy Spirit just uh, had me say. So thank you for listening. Make a video, get it uploaded, and be about my father's business. And you know what his business is? Spreading his love and also, you know, spreading his truth. Amen.